Biden's Dakota Access Pipeline shutdown order struck down by U.S. federal judge. So one federal judge has just thrown a monkey wrench into the Biden plan to sever Americans from energy independence, making them more reliant on nation states that regularly kill homosexuals for just being homosexual. And that's 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 fact. We will end our ability to create our own energy here so that we can continue to buy energy from countries like Saudi Arabia that regularly kill people for being gay and countries like Saudi Arabia. Arabia that get their oil resources with little to no regard for environmental concerns. So nobody's really, well, uh, the rank and file folks, the, the people in this picture that are protesting this, the rank and file folks, a lot of these folks, they really are there for, for reasons that aren't, aren't to serve the, the billionaire corporate state nationalist. But on the main, the people at the top who know what what's what with what know that this is this is all fake. This is all just, just fake rage intended to whip people up into a frenzy so that they will support the continued demise of American power so that they can one day achieve their dream of creating a, a world, a new world empire in which the god of the empire, the king of the empire, is not the Bill of Rights, but is... Well, in this case, they're going to use whatever critical race theory, social justice, whatever the bigoted, racist, hateful. Uh, let's just say an ideology that is extremely friendly to human beings who who have an unnatural affiliation for human beings below the age of consent. It's that kind of ideology. That's the kind of ideology this supports. These folks are uh, not really concerned about uh, the environment, and they're not really concerned about... Uh, oil or gas or solar they're just using what would make america weaker the stronger america is as far as its own energy independence the less able they are to advance their uh, their world ideology and inflict the rest of the world with their their hateful lies and 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 uh, i'll say terrorism for lack of a better term. So a federal judge named uh, James uh, Bosberg for the U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia denied a request fired Friday for an injunction, injunction to shut down the Dakota Access Pipeline, ordering the pipe parties to file joint sta status report on how to proceed. So uh, the judges shut it down on a, on a legal technicality, but uh, it's not generally a good sign for the parties that have come before this judge seeking to have the Dakota Pipeline shut down. Now, there are issues, I think, with the Dakota Pipeline that people could be talking about as far as whether it is good, sane practice to have this pipeline or not, whether it is environmentally healthy for us. And I'm very much concerned about our environmental situation because we happen to live on this planet. But those types of adult conversations in which we can come up with some methodology to actually achieve what the Dakota Pipeline is is it allegedly attempting to achieve American energy independence without uh, resorting to tactics that actually might hurt our environment in some fundamental uh, existential uh, long-lasting ways? Those are adult conversations that I personally would love to have, but we're never going to have those adult conversations because the people who may be legitimately concerned about the environment and not just using this as a vehicle of power to undermine quote-unquote American capitalism, uh, those people are being manipulated by powerful billionaire elites who will utilize a legitimate issue. Uh, once again, a need of the, the, the plea of the needy. They will use the plea of the needy and manipulate in a way that the needs, uh, the pleas of the needy will not actually ever be met by whatever they, they come up with. What they will end up with is whether, whether the environment gets saved over here, it's going to be, it's going to be put into to, to crisis over there. So if, whether it's Saudi Arabia that's threatening the environment or America, that, that makes no never mind to them. All that really matters is that using uh, this plea will undermine American ability to be energy independent. And these people on this side, they, they tell you that America is pretty much a, a racist nation. So they have no love for this country. They have no love to preserve this country. Certainly not a country with a Bill of Rights king. So they're just simply utilizing this as a methodology 
to undermine American power and sovereignty so they can replace the United States of America, a sovereign nation state, with a Bill of Rights king, with, with something more in line with the Soviet Union. So they're, they're, they're far more in line with Chairman Mao and Stalin and Hitler. And those all three are all three peas in a pot. Don't make any mistake about it. Uh, so so that's, that's their leadership. That's their role model. Their role model is not Thomas Jefferson. So I, I don't know whether I feel good or bad about whether this pipeline should be stopped or not stopped. And I've looked into it in the past and the ability to get objective information regarding how I would want to feel about this is is virtually impossible so I can only report to you basically from the perspective of how this is being used as a vehicle of power by the corporate nationalists corpo state nationalists to undermine the ability of an American nation state whose king is the Bill of Rights to continue in any kind of independent fashion without relying upon the the will of very very nasty nation states far worse than the United States of America as far as how they view individuals they don't view them as individuals they're just they're just ends in and of themselves to be manipulated murdered destroyed as the state sees fit that's the model that's the model that they want to get us. They want to get us away from the Bill of Rights, and they want to get us to the to the old model, the model that Saudis fall, the House of Saud fall, follows, which is priest kingism, critical race theory. That's what it sets up. It sets up a priest priest king hierarchy. They claim to be anti hierarchical, but everything about them is wholly and completely far more hierarchical than anything that they pledge to be replacing. So, I guess that's all I'm going to say about this report. I don't know whether I should cheer it or say meh, uh, but one thing I will not cheer ever is the use of a legitimate concern like the health of the environment as a tool of manipulation to undermine American sovereignty and power. And when I say American, I don't mean what is now today because this isn't America. This is Biden, Biden Merca. Biden Merca, which is a, it's a priest king cult that's in power right now, not a, a political party that has any any hope of being bound by the Bill of Rights. So, I will never support you continuing to use the plea of the needy as you awful, awful human beings do all the time to manipulate us to sign over more of our freedoms and liberties and sovereignties so that uh, you may never deliver on the promise that you have held out to us, that you'll somehow end evil if just this time we murder enough people, we destroy enough human lives, we murder and destroy all the, the evil people so that only the good people are left, which is a lie because you yourselves are truly the evil ones in this conversation.